A man started to question, be mad at men. A man started to question, but you want to be mad at men for or women for responding to what men started? Be mad at men again. Sis, I'm not just mad at that man. I'm mad at that man and you. Because you normalized this conditioning in society to where we even got to a point where we're sitting here comparing all men to animals. How dehumanizing and sexist can you get? Y'all have normalized this shit so fucking far to the point we're comparing all men to animals. And yet y'all are still picking the bear. Just the same way y'all still pick shitty men. Y'all don't have good decision-making skills and it shows, baby. And here's the reason why I still blame you and the man who asked the question. Because that man is doing exactly what y'all wanted him to do. Which is dehumanizing men. Which is treating men like they're all dangerous animals. That's what y'all want him to do. Men who do everything women want them to do are fucking pander bears. Instead of just doing the right thing, they just do whatever women tell them is the right thing. The same way y'all still choose to follow all these male feminists, even after they've been fucking exposed. Remember Turtleneck Emo? Remember that famous male feminist on this app that y'all loved because he's a pander bear, just like the man with the microphone that asked the bear question. He said everything you wanted to fucking hear, and then boom, he's exposed for talking to underage fucking girls. Wow, what a surprise. We fucking warned you that men who tell you everything you want to fucking hear are just manipulating you. But you don't care. You like being manipulated that way because you like being agreed with. That ego is just getting fed all the time by these pander bear ass men. Oh, let's name a couple more. Eli Monty admitted to essaying and harassing women. Hmm, but y'all still following him. Interesting. Ex-patriarch. Exposed for harassing a pregnant woman until she almost lost her fucking baby. Yeah. Exposed. And y'all still on him. Weird. Adam A. Vittable. Literally admitted to a bunch of terrible shit. A bunch of terrible thoughts. And all of that shit. And um, physically doing terrible fucking shit. But y'all still on him. What the fuck? And honestly, the list can go on and on and on and on and on and on. Because on the surface, they say everything you want to fucking hear. But if you shut your face and listen to them speak long enough, you will hear where their logic starts to fall apart again. Because they'll sit there and regurgitate all the feminist talking points of, oh, well, all men can be um, aggressors, but men are also victims. But every time a male victims come to the comments to say, hey, you're generalizing me and I feel like this is victim blaming. Guess what y'all do? Oh, you're just a misogynistic woman hating insult. So you're silencing victims now. So you're victim blaming and victim shaming now. Ooh, it's right there. That's the red flag. But y'all will ignore that because he's agreeing with you. So go ahead, keep picking that fucking bear. Just the same way you pick shitty men, just the same way you pick pander bears. You get what you deserve when you run from accountability. Instead of breaking good men's hearts, giving them betrayal trauma, stay your ass over there with the bears. All of them. The pander bears, too. And when you're ready to address this, your therapist is waiting.